Hi guys, Clown here. In this video, I will discuss how to either repin or take your uh, pins out out of an old connector and put a new connector on an electric connector. Uh, let's say you would want to do this for many reasons. Let's say there's a bad uh, connection in here, it's driving you batty, and you don't want to change this whole thing. You just want to take that actual pin out with the wire and resolder it or what have you, repin it and put it back in job done or let's say you broke a clip here and it's not really on tight because uh, you know like the clown you like it tight well let's not go there anyway and uh, you know you buy a new, you get a new clip for the junkyard or what have you and you know you just want to change your, all these wires and pins into a new connector this is how you do it uh, first of all take off any any extra clips around here this one you see is black clip that needs to come off. Since I have Hercules hands, I can do it with my fingers. There goes that. Okay. Now, when you look at this, the these pins have like two little uh, uh, clips that go like, basically they go like this. And when they go inside the hole, <laughs> and they go in here, you know, they, uh, they latch onto there. And they can't come out from back here. So what you, want, what you want to do is you want to push these in and pull it out. Push them in and pull them out. So you're going to insert a tool here and pull them out. Um, Lyle makes a tool. Ta-da! This bad boy here, I love it. Uh, L-I-S-L-E makes it. That's, that's how you spell their company. Um, you don't have to necessarily get this one, but this is an example of what you can get to, to undo these things. And this is part number, actually I have the thing right here, 56500. Zero, zero. Alright, let's get to this. So this tool can actually take out rectangle or square type of uh, pins, and you use these flat blades to do that. And the, there are also round connectors, which I will also show you, and you use the round ones for those. And this is how you do it. All right, you take this, like I said, you just insert it inside there, like that. And that's this wire, and all you have to do is just pull it out. Ta-da! It's out, and that's your pin. Now, they sell special crimpers for these, which are very expensive. Uh, what I like to do is I just take a pick sometimes, open up the connector, open up this, and, you know, just... Um, cut up uh, some sheathing, the wire sheathing, and uh, put the wire back in and solder it. That's the best way to do it. But this is not a video of soldering, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. I might make another video for that. Um, that's one way to do that. Another way to get these out is if you have... <clears throat> sorry about that. A little um, paper clip. It was hiding for me. And what you do here is, for example, you see this one here? I don't know if you can see that. On top here? Ah, right there. You insert it right in there to get that little hump out of the way. Now, before I do that, let me also show you what's on here, what I was talking, what I was talking about before. Uh, this is what you want to want to go down. There's, there's a little tab in here. There's a little tab right in there, and that's what clips and hinges. So once you go in here and push this down, you can pull it out. All right, so once you put the paper clip in, you can try pulling that out. Let me try better with this. All right, I think that's better. And now you just pull it out. Ta-da! Piece of cake, right? Told you. And you know, you fix it, whatever have you, and you just pop it back in, and it just clips back in. Come on. Right. It would help if I wasn't retarded. There you go, clips back in. Alright, there goes that. Next, the round one. You use the round one on here. Remember, square peg and round hole. What was that? Round peg and square hole. I don't know, something like that. Anyway. Alright, 
So this one, you take this little, con you take the round one, the long one, you insert it in here with no lube, because sometimes I like the dry way. But before I do that, you might want to undo this connector over here. Ah! Let me see. Yep, there you go. And if you like your fingers, you might want to use a little mini screwdriver for that flathead. I don't like my fingers, so I use my fingers. Pop that in there. Nice and good. And this pops out. Same thing. And over here, you just pop it back in. Actually, before I do that, I don't know if you could see right there. These these little clips over here, that's what you got. That's what this tool compresses down on right there. I don't know if you can see that. And you're allowed to uh, take it out. Then, put it back in is easy. You just push it in. And it's in! And you're good. You're ready for business. Now, this one is hard to get out if you don't have this tool. I guess you could try prying around in there with one of these paper clips, but that's like almost nearly impossible. Um, one more thing thing I forgot to mention. You could also use a little jeweler's um, screwdriver to pop these out. You just put it inside that little hole <laughs> and you clip out. So if you have these handy, that's also good. Alright, thanks for watching and if you like my video, you could like underneath. It's free to like me, I think. And uh, you can also subscribe to see future videos of other projects and stuff I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Take care.